Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Wrist from Off The Cuff. Today we're going to do a quick little unboxing and initial impressions of the Monta Triumph. Of course, this isn't an actual unboxing, I didn't just cut this thing open, but I did want to actually show you guys what is contained within the packaging and, and the presentation because I think uh, what Monta's been able to do, and especially at this price range, is pretty incredible. So, as you can see, we have this beautiful zebra wood box, really nice as we also saw on the Ocean King, really solid, and look inside, wow, I mean, as you can see, really beautiful presentation, nice suede interior, and then it comes with a complimentary uh, NATO strap, which is uh, going to be similar to a lot of the straps you're going to see, like let's say from Blue Shark or Moose Strap Co. Um, very much in that same vein, very premium, everything there. Um, it's a little thick and uh, short for my liking, but I mean, I have kind of a larger wrist, so um, you know, it's a little bit different for me. Um, and then it does come with a nice little strap change tool here. As you can see, definitely, oops, sorry, this is off camera there. Really nice. And then, of course, you're also gonna have your great little travel pouch there, which I think is perfect. I use this a lot um, when I had the Ocean King uh, when I was reviewing it, I have pretty much kept it in this pouch all the time, uh, which is nice that they actually give you the centerpiece because it essentially keeps the, your bracelet from scratching the back of your watch. Now, to get to the main event here, look at this gorgeous beast of a watch. Now, in the renders, I was really excited about this, but I became even more excited after handling the Ocean King in person because the level of execution was just so top notch. Um, I knew that really what they were, what they'd be able to pull off with this piece that I already found very design wise, very aesthetically pleasing was going to be something very, very special. So I'll try to keep this short because we are going to have the full review coming up, but I did want to give you guys just a little sneak peek of this piece. So, as you can see, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, that gray dial, that pop of red uh, on the text there, really beautiful. The way the light hits this, as you can see, look, it can look very dark and then bam, spiral out. All of a sudden, brightens up. So. Really, really cool, fantastically thin, and uh, those bevels, I mean, they're everywhere, um, down to literally on every link, and then also you have them on the outside of the case, you have them on the inside of the lugs, I mean, then you have the radial brushing here, I mean, this thing is just fantastic, and at its specs, Again, at that 38 and a half, I mean, we'll go into it definitely more in the full review, but I mean, let's get this on rest here. Yeah. That's a nice piece. That wears just beautifully. Look at that, nice and low profile on wrist. That'll fit underneath a cuff. Again, just the quality of this thing just oozes quality. You could wear this uh, to any boutique. Um, and you know what? Uh, you could be browsing other watches. You take this off, uh, I would guarantee you the staff is going to ask what this thing is because it just speaks for itself with that build quality. Simplistic design, you know, it has a field watch uh, style dial. Um, but then everything is just executed so top-notch, so gorgeous. It's really in the execution. Um, it's not flashy by design, it's flashy by execution and realization. Um, I mean, again, this is one of those watches that has a design that pays homage to, you know, 
field watches from the past, just like the Ocean King paid homage to dive watches of the past and, uh, you know, without being derivative of, you know, any one particular model or trying to copy. So I think this thing's just gorgeous. I mean, it, it has like the color palette and the color play of, uh, you know, a modern Oyster Perpetual, um, you know, but with the water resistance of an Explorer or an Aquaterra at 150 meters water resistance. So this is going to actually be a tough, fun watch. You could take this in the water. You can take it underwater. It has a screw down crown. It also has a beautiful display case back where you can see that gorgeous movement. Man. This thing just really sings, guys. I gotta say. I'm a big fan. Let's go ahead and sneak in a little loom action and some low light transition because uh, it's fun. <laughs> so let's go ahead and zoom in. Get a close look at that gorgeous dial there. Charging up, BGW9. Oh yeah, that glows. That looks good. You're gonna walk in from outdoors and that's gonna be lighting up just like that. It's gonna look great. It's gonna feel great on your wrist. And let's look at it in low light transition here. Look at that. So of course my hot studio lights aren't going to be completely indicative of the way you're going to see the dial and the sheen and the light play. So why not get some low light shots? Take a look here. Get an idea of what this is going to look like indoors, in the shade, in the car. And you know what? <laughs> Man, the way this thing, this the finishing on this watch, the way the light dances off of it. It's hard to argue with. Still looking good. All right, guys. So I'm gonna try to keep this one short, like I said, because we do have the full review coming. I just did want to give you guys a taste, a little tease of this watch because I'm so excited about it. I've been excited and I'm really happy. This is not a loner. This is my personal one that I bought. So I put my money where my mouth is. I think this is definitely worth the money. Um, the pre, unfortunately for you guys, if you haven't bought one yet, you missed the pre-order pricing. Um, but on bracelet, uh, you know, these were going for 1435. The prices have increased to 1550, and I think there's it's still well worth 1550 for the finishing uh, you're gonna get. I really don't see anything comparable uh, under three thousand uh, dollars. So. Basically, you're gonna get double the finish uh, for half the pricing. Um, even the movement, uh, yeah, sure, it's, it's not quite as fancy as the uh, caliber that was inside the Ocean King. Still, um, it's a movement that is very impressive and more expensive, and SW300 is not cheap. If it was, uh, a lot more companies would be using them, I'm sure. Uh, they're thin and they're much higher grade than the standard SW200, which is just a 2824 clone. Uh, the SW300 is more akin to uh, the 2892, um, but it's not a clone of it. Uh, it. It definitely has some departures in the architecture, and it's uh, just an absolutely gorgeous piece. And then, uh, yeah, don't don't forget to mention that, of course, these are all tuned in house, uh, so they're regulated and gonna keep better time than just a, a standard movement. Uh, so, I mean, this particular model for me has been, it's been running pretty bad, guys. It's been uh, plus three seconds a day, <laughs> which is still well within COSC. So um, I think that's really awesome. And uh, I've been very impressed with this piece and I'm really looking forward to telling you guys more about it in the full review. So make sure you stay tuned. If you like the video, please do hit like. If you have any questions about this watch that you'd like me to address in the full video, Go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. Um, just let me know what you guys think about this piece. Um, is there something that you guys think that else is out there that can compete with this um, at this price point? I, I mean, it, I just don't see much that's out there. I mean, there are some watches that are great that are out there um, that are in this price point, but I mean, as far as the finishing goes, 
I mean, uh, there's not much that's going to touch this. I mean, you might like something aesthetically design-wise. You might think it looks better, um, but there, I don't think there's going to be anything that's ni more, you know, that's n nicer finished. Uh, at least not that you can buy new. Of course, there's going to be someone's going to chime in. Oh, you can buy used, vintage, this, that, and the other thing. And, uh, yeah, you could get a used, you know, luxury wristwatch. Sure. Um, or you could get this brand new. Uh, and have a warranty and um, be the only person to ever have worn it um, so uh, yeah this thing is just uh, the business and uh, if you check out my Instagram I think you'll like some of the shots I got up there if you guys didn't know I actually do have an Instagram uh, I'll put it in the uh, description there so you guys can check it out it actually gives you guys some teasers of stuff that's coming up as far as reviews um, so you can kind of get a good idea of what's coming to the channel and it's also a place um, you know for you guys to ask questions and whatnot if you want to know because pretty much 95% of the watches I review are all my own watches. Uh, I get very few loaners uh, in and I really don't sell my watches. Uh, although I probably should start. Because <laughs> I have like over 100 of them. So don't expect a state of the collection anytime soon from me. Because it will be like a 2 hour long uh, video. And I can talk for one watch it for 20-30 minutes. I don't think you guys want to hear me... Uh, Put on a Titanic uh, level three tape series <laughs> of uh, reviews. So, anyways, rambling a little bit. Make sure you let me know what you think, and I'll address any questions you have in the full video. And um, man, if you guys haven't got one of these and you're thinking about it, there's not much to think about. I think you guys should pick it up, and I'm going to tell you why in the next video. Thanks. Bye.